M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. Zygu X6200. Someone asked me, can you just make a video using the device? So here we are, we're on 40 meters. It's about 7.30 in the morning, and you can see I've got a nice strong signal there in front of you. How do I get the ICOM scope? All you do is go to display settings. So in general, you push general there, you go display and then change the WF map here, change it, I know it's quite bright, to jet. So you move the bottom thing, outer knob until it highlights jet, press it, and then you can turn, it says here jet look. It's pink there, back to jet. Okay, and then I'll, regarding my other settings look, Water floor, waterfall reference minus one dBm, and we've got AF FFT reference minus four. AF FFT average is on ten at the moment. Of course, you can change it. The span is one nine two and four dBm. Okay, so let's just tune through. ATU is just here. Look. Middle knob. I've already tuned, tune away from the station, and we're on five watts power wise. Go to setting and look TX power. I can press that and it puts it up here. And I can change the power with the outer knob to five watts, and then you just tune not busy here this morning hear it clicking it's it's keeping the receive tune hear that could be just actually changing the frequencies but hey FT8 if you want to decode that go to USB press app then ft8 decoder takes about what, a minute and it just suddenly appears there you go ft8 decode nice and easy it's got quite a nice microphone here the red one, if you press it, you can type in the frequency. LED there as well. Come out of FT8 decode. Now to change the mode, you've got here, it's got AM, FM, CW and SSB. So we'll go back to LSB. Go up and down the bands, you've got big arrows here and here. Just scrolling up and down the bands. Someone asked me if it does 50 megahertz transmit on FM. I haven't tried that yet. Well, it did show narrow FM. 5770 is my local repeater I don't know about putting the tone in but anyway that's 5770 and I'm just going to very briefly press the microphone just to see if it transmits it did transmit though so yes it does probably have to go split shift to get your repeater in there but then I can't see any any you know tone basically CTCSS tone so I will try it, and yes, it does do air band. There, we'll try the frequency input. Now the microphone is upside down, but you press it. And remember to put it, press the dot. So it's one, three, three, and then the dot, eight, five, zero. And you can see the, and then press the red button again. You can see the numbers on there in white, and then in 
the bands are in black you can change bands so then we'll just go yeah we're on am one three three eight five over it's just my hf antenna at the moment but it does it, believe it or not it does that because the the aeroplanes and bristol airport is so strong i do pick that up see it's got the remember it's got the removable battery on this device Now let's go back down to that's broadcast radio. I tend to listen to change the frequency step here. Look, just this button here, far right button FST. Now it's only going to there. I listen to radio four, which is 94300. Bit long winded, but I'm sure there's a scan function. You've got your little turny bit there. There you go, Radio 4. It definitely works. <laughs> 40 meters is the best active for me this morning. If you want your filters, press DFL, you've got filters 1, 2, 3 and default and close. Let's go DFN, that's your noise reduction. Press it and then turn, there you are, turn the outer knob and you can adjust the noise blanker and the noise reduction there message which we've not used yet but you can pre-record messages i haven't even tried to play with this yet but it looks like there is there one already in there because it says number one it actually shows that there is a message in there so let's just quickly press it uh, probably cw isn't it i'm just going to press it and see what happens uh, uh, say all oh, right they put a message in so okay that's already in there so you can add messages type it in and then save and there is a keyboard there I just saw that but you can plug in an external keyboard it works fine um, so how do you send the message I see that we've got the message I want, I'll make a special video on that so I, I need to learn it basically and voice message Ooh, this is a bit like this display is like the icon one so I just press record. M0 FXB, is it recording? Do I have to key the mic? One, two, test, test. One, two, test, test. Well, something happened. And then goes stop. Keep thinking it's touch screen. And then play. Okay. <laughs> Nothing at the moment, but again, I've got to learn it, haven't I? I'll, I'll dig out the manual. It's a big manual that comes with this. Let's go back to general. Push the message, is it? I'll exit there. Go back to LSB. Well, uh, safety, uh, between, uh, That's all your Kia settings there. Right? All here. Two menus, and you've got a trainer as well. I mean, you can, can it's a bit like uh, braking is I turned off. Press general. Settings 2. SPLE. Handle. RITXIT. Exit. There's a lot of empty grids there. Band stack, you can select all the received bands. Continuation, AGC, power, mic select, monitor level. Preamp is off at the moment. Internal mic gain, PTT mode. And you can actually bring the 
See the what the audio is missing. Audio scope. Press display. Move the grid with the outer knob. To here, press enter. Now turn it one click. It does it again. There it goes. You bring that back in. That means it, I think because I've seen that firmware can be changed on the X6100 to, to, to do exactly the same thing because hackers now know what to do. They can just copy it. Very clever. And it's not busy now. It'll be busy later. It's very early in the morning here. See, we've got SWR here, power and signal meter showing. I uh, just give a quick CQ. M0 FXB test, test, test. M0 FXB test, test, test. So you can see that the SWR was showing, so was the power and the signal. M0 FXB test, test, test. CQ calling for a contact. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. So there you go, you can see my transmit signal coming down. Choose a different filter if you want. When you're on filter, you can adjust it. Look, it's adjusting now. Uh, just the outer knob. Turning that. RIT, I did see that. You have to set it in the menu. Okay, general. Go to settings, move that here. Oh, it's on RIT. Press. Now, with that, yeah, it's put it there, look. And now we're changing the RIT, receive or transmit, we can select. Time, we need to set up the Wi-Fi. I think I'll make that my next video is my Wi-Fi. Keep knocking around this cable. Bye for now, 7-3.